Welcome to lesson 4.3, percents, where we'll talk about the percent increase and percent decrease. Percent increase and decrease is a very simple concept. Uh, we'll talk about, we'll start with a whole, we'll see how the amount changes, and if it increases, that's a percent increase. If it decreases, it's a percent decrease. For example, Bill had $20 until Susie gave him $8 more. He now has $28. In this case, Bill starts with $20. It then changes to $28. And that produces a 40% increase. His amount changes by 40% and it increases. In our second example, Freddie's average was 85 until his last test. Now it is a 75. So Freddie starts at 85. It now changes to 75, giving us an 11.8% decrease. Today what we'll talk about is how we can use proportions and a fraction bar in order to determine that percent increase or decrease for different situations. Let's start using the fraction bar method. Our first example would be, the price of a movie was $5. Recently it was changed to $6 per ticket. What is the percent change? Now to figure this out, we're going to use the fraction bar. We'll start off with the first bar, which is going to be representative of our whole amount. This is our original amount. The movie originally cost $5, so that's 100%. Then we will look at the new price. When, we, uh, when the price changes, it changes to $6 per ticket, so it's going up. So we'll add on to our bar. Now our price is $6 and we'll try to figure out what that new percentage is. Now in order to do this, we'll use this to set up a proportion. We'll take our two amounts. We have 5 and 100. That'll be our first side. And then 6 over x will be our second. Now notice we just took them straight from the bar, just the way they are. And then we'll use our algebra to solve this. We can cross multiply. 100 times 6 is 600. 5 times x is 5x. We can then divide by 5, and that gives us 120 equals x. That means our new, our new percent is 120%. Now, we're not looking for the new percent. We're looking for the change. If it started at 100 and it's now gone up to 120, we have an increase of 20%. And realize I just got the 20 by taking... 120 minus 100. It's changed. It's gone from 100 to 120, so it's increased by 20%. Next, we'll take a look at our second example. Joe likes to run. His time in the 100 meters was 11.5 seconds last year. Now, it is 10.2 seconds. What is the percent change? Again, we'll do our fraction bar. Notice here we have the original amount He runs the race in 11.5 seconds, so that's 100%. His new amount is 10.2, so that's actually getting less. So we're going to take that away. So now it's 10.2 over x. So we have our two amounts. 11.5 is 100%, 10.2 is the new percentage. We're going to again use that to set a proportion up. We're going to have 11.5 over 100 equals 10.2 over x. We can go ahead and set that up. We can cross multiply. 100 times 10.2 equals 11.5 x. 100 times 10.2 will give us 1,020. So we end up with 1,020 equals 11.5 x. Our next step then will be to divide by 11.5 on both sides, which will give us 88.69, which we'll just call 88.7. So our new percentage is 88.7%. So from here, we want to use that and determine what our percent change is. If we started at 100, and we move down to 88.7, we can just subtract, and we will get 11.3. So we've had an 11.3% decrease. 
Obviously, we started at 11.5, we went down. That's now an 11.3% decrease in his time. All right, well, let's quickly review what we've talked about today. We're attempting to find the percent increase or decrease. When we do that, we first find the starting point. What is our original amount? Once we find our original amount, then we look to the new part, new point. Where are we ending up? Decide, is it an increase or is it a decrease? We're going to draw a fraction bar with our original amount and then our new amount. If it's an increase, we draw uh, the bar longer. If it's, a, if it's a decrease, we cover up part of the bar. And we set up a proportion. Once we set up the proportion, go ahead and solve it the, with the uh, cross multiplication technique that you've learned. And then finally, once you find a per new percent, you determine, has it increased? And if so, you subtract 100 from that number. Or has it decreased? And if so, you subtract that percentage from 100 to get your, new, your change. Finally, that brings us to our question of the day. Be sure to write something. Try to be specific with a, a good question of something that you need answered. If you're still having trouble, be sure to come by tutorials. We're in W206, after school and before school, Monday through Thursday. Until then, have a nice day.